From my personal experience of reading many manga and watching many anime, when a 1% is brought up out of like 100%, usually that 1% equals 100%. RNG Sama is about to fuck over the world. That, that's what's going to happen, because that 1% equals 100%. Let's just face it. Now, one thing I will say with this chapter, or these two chapters of Assassination Classroom, is that it concludes the space arc, which feels very fast. And I don't know how to feel about that. Because just it's been about four chapters, I think, just four, maybe five at the maximum of this space arc. And it feels like we're really moving and trucking along fast with what is going on. Because, let's face it, last arc, it was the divide between E-Class. They had to come to terms with what they wanted to do to either save Coral Sensei or kill Coral Sensei. They came to the conclusion they wanted to try to save him, and then they went to space. And in the span of like four, maybe five chapters, it's already over. The arc is already done. And I mean, let's face it, I mean, Assassination Classroom doesn't have long, long arcs, but it does have long arcs when it really counts. And this feels like a type of arc that would have really taken a little bit longer because of the meaning behind the arc. For instance, you know, Corpus Sensei being saved or having to be assassinated. And it just makes me question, is the mangaka being forced to rush the arc? Like, I'm worried about that. I know Assassination Classroom is doing well in Japan right now. I haven't seen recent rankings. I don't know how it's recently been ranking in Weekly Shonen Jump, but I do know Assassination Classroom is loved by many in Japan. It's a very popular series, and I don't think, you know, Shonen Jump would just try to rush the series, but that's kind of what it felt like to me. Like, the arc is just... I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel about this arc, because... Like I said, it just felt very fast. Maybe it's because we had two chapters in one week. Maybe that's it. Maybe that is why I'm feeling like this. Because if I would have been, you know, reviewing and reading a chapter week by week instead of, you know, having to wait like two weeks just to get this these two chapters this day, I think I would have probably felt a little bit different. But even then, I just hope, I, I really hope, I, I'm just, you know kind of seeing things i'm just not you know seeing something actually really taking place hopefully i am seeing things and the mangaka isn't being rushed because if this series is getting closer and closer to the conclusion i hope shonen jump is not trying to rush the mangaka and say like wrap this shit up wrap this shit up because i hope that's not what's going on here because there is a lot of potential for this and there is a lot of good things that this series can do and set up before it does end. And I don't think Assassination Classroom does have too long until it concludes, but even then, I don't think any of us want to see this series rush, especially to its final arcs. Like, if I had to really place my bets, we'd probably have about a good five, maybe six arcs left of Assassination Classroom. Good arcs. And that's about it. And getting into what these two chapters were, it concludes the space arc. We come to find out a lot of information of how to save Koro Sensei. And there's some very ironic things that take place with this chapter, these two chapters, that I don't feel is just coincidence. It's definitely not. Because we come to find out, like, this is some form of chemical that can save Koro Sensei and reduce the percentage wise from 100% to 1% to where he won't explode and kill the entire planet. The chemical is the exact same chemical that was given to Koro Sensei at the beginning of Assassination Classroom. Like the first three episodes, if I'm correct, and the first couple chapters of Assassination Classroom, we get to see that chemical that Koro Sensei drunk was the chemical that he needed to reduce his percentage of exploding to 1%. Now, as I said, RNG-sama is going to fuck the world over regardless if it's 1%, because that means it's 100%. But still, it's very ironic how the very chemical that we need was already given to Coral Sensei a long time ago. Of course, they're going to try to make it again, but still. It makes me believe, judging by how the mangaka laid out a lot of foreshadowing, especially with, you know, certain people having tentacle hair... Not even going to get into that because the foreshadowing was breathtaking. I couldn't believe the foreshadowing there. 
the point stands is that it's obvious the mangaka has planned out everything. Already knew where the person wanted to go, like where Assassination Classroom is going to lead towards. So this lets you know that the mangaka already knew the structure of the story. Knew the plot twist and what they wanted to do. And for this chemical done at the early beginning to relay to this chapter and showcase that it is the chemical to reduce Coral Sensei from dying, it makes me believe that Coral Sensei already knows about this. He already knows what he needs to take to reduce his chances of exploding. Because looking at the dialogue, it didn't seem like Coral Sensei was really shocked or phased about the revelation he could be saved. It didn't seem like he was that shocked at all. Like, I mean, there was a panel, where one panel he looked shocked, but in terms of the revelation of him being saved, it didn't seem like he was completely shocked. And it makes me feel like he might already somewhat know about this, or he's not really letting us know the full story. Maybe he's already done his personal research into how he needs to save himself, because if you think about it, Coral Sensei is very intelligent. We know about him and his intelligent skills of researching and all that, outsmarting other scientists. I don't believe Coral Sensei is the type of person to really not research that type of thing to save his ass. So it's definitely not that. I don't know. I mean, the chapter... <sighs> it's a good chapter. These two chapters are very good. Just don't know how to feel, because th there's a lot of ominous feelings about these two chapters, because the 1% lets us know it's 100%. Coral Sensei and the chemical he took earlier on it actually is going to be the chemical to save him and reduce it down. And then also his reaction to that, along with the scientists being very creepy and just the way they acted and just were very submissive to Karma and Nagisa. It just it was very weird too to me. But... That's pretty much all I have to say. Just many questions, and hopefully we get answers, because this series does give us answers, and it does have a lot of things planned out, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the mangaka will do to shock me and surprise me with what type of twists we'll have in the future. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.